Ladies and gentlemen, the young lady who will be playing at the Grady County Fairgrounds this Saturday night. I was uh, keeping everybody country in Oklahoma City when this lady was uh, at the top of the charts, won the uh, female vocalist of the year two years in the 1980s, and she's coming to the Grady County Fairgrounds with her buddy Danny Stegall and our friend, and it's to benefit the Resurrection House. Good morning, Janie Fricky. Well, good morning, Joe. We are so happy that you have talked to us, and you and I were talking off the air about one of my prized possessions, and back when you're a music director, a program director at a, at a large station, you get all kinds of cool stuff from artists, and back in the 80s, you had sent me the best little pocket knife I'd ever had. And I, I remember it. I, I, believe, I believe you said on there, my daddy said, a man always needed a good pocket knife or something like that. Is that right? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> well, it was wonderful. I appreciate it. It was so much fun. And I got to see you in concert a couple of times. Uh, introduce you down at the uh, Lloyd Noble Center on the campus of the University of Oklahoma. And oh, by, yeah. I remember, uh, didn't you start out singing jingles? I did, Joe, yes. I was uh, a studio singer, and my job was to do commercials, all kinds of jingles for customers and clients that would come into the studio from all over the country and out of the United States, too, to have commercials recorded. And we worked in a vocal group. You know, of course, people don't recognize uh, the jingle singers unless they go on to become famous. And the only person I can think of besides you was Barry Manilow, who did That's a lot. Right. But tell, tell the folks some of the national commercials you did, because I, after I heard you and, and got to be playing your records, I'd hear a commercial and go, man, that sounds like Janie Fricky. Yes. Well, I did Red Lobster and uh, United Airlines and Coca-Cola and many more. Well, see, I really remember the United Airlines because when I was younger, I used to fly a lot. And I, I love United. And uh, mm -hmm. I remember that. You've got a lot of hit songs. Was your biggest uh, She Single Again? The biggest, probably. It ain't easy being easy. I've got that one here, uh, along with She's Single Again. When I hear Janie Fricky. She's Single, yeah. She's Single Again was marketed really big, too, wasn't it? Well, it really was. And every time, you know, if you hear a country music singer's name, like your late partner Johnny Duncan there, see, everybody mm -hmm. will think of Stranger or something mm -hmm. like that. And I think of Hard Luck Joe from his album. <laughs> because when yeah. I get depressed, I used to sit around, drink beer, and listen to that. But when I hear Janie Fricky, I think of She Single Again, but It Ain't Easy Being Easy. It's just such a wonderful, soulful song, Janie. Yes, it is. It is. And they were both good records. And, you know, like when I say it was marketed, bigger you know at the time it just depends how they do put it on the radio and across the country how they do market it but it was a great record i really enjoyed it and then the other day when uh, merle haggard passed away it was that the only song you did with merle i did several songs with merle haggard uh but but one of my favorites and the most important one i thought was looking for a place to fall apart yeah that's there what i played couple, there was a couple more one was called natural high and I think one was called Kern River. But it, it was just wonderful working with him, and I'm just so thankful I had I had that opportunity and that uh, he's in my memory forever because uh, it was a great opportunity. I never knew that you did Kern River. It's interesting. When I was in the service out in California, I would go to Bakersfield all the time. In fact, learn to water ski on Lake Isabella, which is where Kern River comes out of. So, oh, really? I'm going to play that today, by golly, just because I had forgotten you did that. Mm -hmm. I did. I did. And it was interesting because Merle Haggard had me fly out to California to work on that record in his studio. The others I had done in Nashville in the studios there. So... I remember that incident and um, special special time. He had an interesting house out there in Bakersfield. I went out there. It was called Hag's Place. Do you remember that? It was yes. out in the desert, and then, and then he'd go down to Kern River. Yes. And we I, the, but we were in the studio only. We did not go into the house. Oh, so you went downtown Bakersfield there? We were just in the studio part, as far as I can remember. It's been so long ago. Well, listen, I know you're busy, and I'm keeping you here chatting, but I want to make sure everybody knows that you are coming to Chickasha. You yes. will be here Saturday night, 7 o'clock, Grady County Fairgrounds, with your old friend Danny Stegall, who is uh, out at Stegall Oil here in town. 
Oh, yes. And I look so forward to seeing Danny, Sheila, and everybody and to meet some new friends and fans. And it's going to be a big night. I see Sheila every time I go out to Atwood. She's the manager here in town. Janie Fricky, two-time female vocalist of the year has recorded with every major superstar in Nashville, has had several number one records. We are so happy you're coming to Chickasha to benefit the Resurrection House this Saturday night, Janie. Well, I'm looking forward to it, Joe. Thank you, and we will see you all real soon. You got it. Thanks so much. Janie Fricky, ladies and gentlemen, you will see her Saturday night, 7 o'clock, Fairground. <laughs> 